we're going to do some calculations with lenses to figure out some of the image characteristics. But before we start that, we need to know what the variables are in our formulas and with our sign convention, when to use positive, when to use negative. We should just briefly look at what those variables mean pictorially. Here's a ray diagram for, let's say, a converging lens. I, use my, I have my object here, which is a person running, and I've drawn two of the rays to locate the image, like we did with ray diagrams. So the variables on this diagram, DO is the distance to the object, the distance from the lens to the object, which is my person. DI, distance to the image. I've got HO, height of the object, which is the person running, and the image of the person over here is height of the image. The focal length is the distance from the lens to the primary focus, and the focal length is the distance from the lens to the secondary focus. So these are what the variables look like. But instead of drawing this ray diagram, you don't need to draw it, you're going to use the formulas to calculate what these are. Here are the two formulas we're going to use, 1 over F, is 1 over di plus 1 over do, and m is hi over ho, which is equal to negative di over do. So these are our variables. f is the focal length, d is the distance to the image, di is the distance to the image, do is the distance to the object, hi is height of the image, ho is height of the object, and m is magnification. So we need a sign convention to establish what kind of lens we're using and where some of the image what some of the image characteristics are, if it's real or virtual. So, if I look at this, I like to think that there's a very logical way in which these were, came about. For instance, the focal length. We use convex lenses a lot. Those are the ones that are shaped this way, as opposed to concave, which is shaped this way. And we use convex lenses a lot. They can create real or virtual images. They're in cameras, they're in overhead projectors, they're in projectors. And they're in uh, glasses, although uh, concave lenses are very common in glasses too. Um, so convex lenses, we assign it a positive for the focal length, and concave, we assign it a negative. So if the question says you have a concave lens of six centimeter focal length, then you need to put a negative in front of the uh, six centimeters. Assign it a negative. The distance to the image. Here's our lens, here's our object, I can measure the distance of the object, and somewhere there's the image. If it's projected on a screen, I'd measure from the lens to where the image is. That's the distance to the image. Positive means the image is on the opposite side of the lens, which is the way we picture most ray diagrams. You've got an object here, you've got a lens, you draw three rays, you get an image over here. So this would mean the opposite side of the lens. And by the way, if it's on the opposite side of the lens, then it's going to be real. So with, uh, with lenses, if you get a positive answer for DI, you also know it's real. DI, if, it's, um, if the uh, image ends up being, if DI ends up being negative, then that means the image is on the same side as the lens. So if I have an object here and a lens here, it means the image is over here somewhere, floating in space. And the way you see that kind of image, you have to look through the lens. So I look through the lens, and I see my finger is bigger. That's a virtual image. So the sign would be negative, because the image is on the same side as the object. Here's my object, and I look through, there's my image. It looks bigger and virtual. So if it's on the same side, the DI comes out negative, it means something about the characteristics, the object's image must be virtual. Height of image, well the height of the image, um, it makes sense that if it's this way, we're going to call that a positive image, if it is this way, negative. So this means, positive means upright, and negative means inverted. We also know that if an image is upright in a lens, then it's virtual. And if it's inverted, it's real. And I remember that because when I put this and project an image onto the wall, I get something that's upside down. If I put an overhead, an overhead projector, and I just project it through a single lens, then uh, I gotta put the object upside down so that it flips it over. So it's, and that's a real image. So HI, upright, is positive, inverted, is um, negative. 
Now the whole point of these formulas is to find out what is the image length. Here's a lens, here's an object. What is going to happen? So height of object and distance to object, those are characteristics of the object. I'm interested in characteristics of the image. So that means these are always positive. Here's my hand. I'm holding it this way. What is the image going to be like? Well, if the image ends up positive, I know the image is going to be upright. If it's negative, it's going to be inverted. So HO and DO, always positive. If you calculate something that comes out negative, you know you made a mistake. So here are the two formulas. Here's our sign convention. Let's try a few problems. 